HYDROLIC hoist and steering system. In this tutorial video we'll explain about the location of components and how to work system hoist and steering on the 773 air truck. Steering system. Steering system. Shown in the top visual is the 773E 775E steering system tank. 1. Dot. The tank located on the upper right frame. Shown in the lower visual is the 773F 775F steering system tank. 2. Dot. The tank is located in the right rear side of the hood. The fill cap can be accessed without opening or removing any of the access panels. The case drain filter. 3 is now remotely mounted. The steering system fitter 4 is now remotely shown in the top visual is the steering pump for the 773E 775E. The steering pump has changed locations. Shown in the lower visual is the steering pump for the 773F 775F. The F series truck is still equipped with a load sensing. Pressure compensated piston type pump. 2. The steering pump is now mounted on the back of the new C27A CERTN. The steering disable valve. 1. Is located behind the strut on the right frame rail. When the steering disables a lanoid valve. 2. Is energized the flow of oil from the steering pump to the steering valve is blocked by the steering disable valve. 1. Dot. This allows servicing behind the front wheels with the machine running. When the machine lockout switch located under a panel on the right stairway is toggled, a signal is sent to the chassis ECM. The chassis ECM engages the steering disable solenoid. Now the machine can be serviced behind the front wheel. Shown in the visual is the steering valve for the 773F-775F. 773F-775F steering valve has not changed from the previous model. Shown in the top visual is the HMU. 1. For the 773E-775E. Shown in the lower visual is the HMU. 2. For the 773F, 775F. The HMU will function the same and is in the SAM general location. The HMU for the 773F, 775F will be easier to service due to red side wall. Shown in the top visual is the electric secondary steering pump. 1. On the 773E, 775E. The secondary steering pump is located behind the front bumper. Shown in the lower visual is the electric secondary steering pump. 3. On the 773F, 775F. The pump and motor are now located the front cross member. Hoist HYDROLIC system on the 773F 775F. The hoist pump receives supply oil from the hydraulic tank through the suction screen located in the rear of the tank. Oil flows from the hoist pump to the host valve. The hoist valve uses oil from the parking brake system as the pilot oil to shift the directional. Spool inside the hoist control valve. Oil flows from the parking brake accumulator or through pressure reducing valve. Then to both ends of the hoist control valve. Pilot pressure is always present at both ends of the directional spool. Two solenoid valves are used to drain the pilot oil from the ends of the directional spool which then allows the spool to shift. The electric tow pump can also be used to send pilot oil to LTHE hoist control valve. 
If the bed needs to be lowered with a dead engine, the tow pump will provide the pilot oil through. The diverter. Towing. Valve is manually opened. When the hoist control valve is in the hold. Float. Or snub position all the hoist pump oil flows through the hoist and brake oil cooler locked it on the right side of the engine. Excess oil from the brake system joins the host pump oil and also flows to the oil cooler. Oil flows from the oil cooler through the rear brake and returns to the hydraulic tank through the return screen. An oil cooler relief valve is located in the hoist control valve. The relief valve limits the brake oil cooling pressure when the hoist control valve is in the hold. Float or snub position. Shown in the top visual is the hoist pump. 1. On the 773E, 775E. Shown in the lower visual is the new location of the hoist pump. 2. For the 773F, 775F. The hoist pump. 2 is a gear type pump and is attached to the brake cooling pump. 3. The hoist pump is now driven by the gears at the back of the engine. Shown in the visual is the location of the hoist control valve. 1. The hoist control valve has not changed from the previous 773E, 775E OFF highway truck. The top visual shows the hoist control lever for the 773E, 775E. 1. Trucks. The lower visual shows the hoist control lever for the 773F, 775F. 2. Dot. The function of these levers is the same. The operator control the hoist lever. The forward position of the hoist lever arrays hold, float and lower. The hoist lever control SA pulse width modulated. PWM. Position sensor mounted to the lower end of the hoist lever. The PWM sensor sends duty cycle input signals to the CHASIS ECM. Depending on the position of the sensor and the corresponding duty cycle. One of the two solenoids located on the hoist valve is energized. Pressure tap for the hoist system. Shown in the left visual are the pressure taps for the hoist control valve. The pressure tap. 1. Checks the pilot pressure for the hoist lower solenoid. The pressure tap. 2. Checks the pilot pressure of the raised solenoid. Shown in the right visual are the pressure taps for the hoist cylinders. These pressure taps are located on a manifold that is mounted on the cross tube between the lower hoist cylinder mounts. The pressure tap. 3. Checks the pressure of the cylinder lower circuit. The pressure tap 4 checks the pressure of the cylinder raised circuit.